Hey, Guy. Hey, Chris, what's up? Teach me something. Sure thing. So, you know, we think of human perception is quite stable. So that if you look at an image of a frog, for example, and you change it in pixel values just a little bit, we call those things perturbations of the image, then you would still see a frog. It would not affect what you're seeing in that image. But then what we found in a recent study is that we can use a particular type of model to guide those perturbations. And that model suddenly discovers perturbations that can make this image look like anything we want, despite those perturbations still being quite small. So I can show you an example here. So this was originally an image of uh, flowers, but then we can find this slight perturbation that can make it look like a frog, a turtle, a bird, whatever we want, and for any uh, start image that we pick. Why do we care about this problem? So for us, this is a milestone towards something much bigger that we're after. So we want to think of this as potentially unlocking for us uh, uh, applications of clinical benefit to treat mental disorders and such. Because imagine that we can perturb visual stimuli just a little bit, but in a way that can uh, make you feel better, in a way that, in a similar way that we take Prozac, uh, but here in a non-invasive way.